Today's news. Today's news. This is CBS News on the Hour, presented by Indeed.com. I'm Monica Ricks in New York. The Supreme Court has pushed making a decision on a lower court's ruling on mifepristone till Friday. Until then, access to the abortion drug will still be available. Here's legal analyst Jessica Levinson. This is about something separate, which is FDA approval and changes that are made by the FDA to a medication. And so in that way, it's not about the constitutionality of abortion, but of course it absolutely affects in a practical sense, access to abortion. The Biden administration has been fighting to keep the drug available to women, including by mail. The mother of Tyree Nichols is suing the city of Memphis and its police department over her son's violent death. Robon Wells filed that suit today. 500 million, that's a lot of money. This has nothing to do with the monetary value of this lawsuit, but everything with, that has to do with accountability. Amen. Nichols died back in January after getting beaten by a group of officers during a traffic stop. In Alabama, two teenage brothers are facing murder charges for reportedly killing four people at a birthday party in Dadeville. DA Mike Seagrass. Four counts of reckless murder just includes the four deceased. We've got a lot more victims in this. We've still got four that are in hospital, uh, four that are in critical condition. We're going to make sure every one of those victims has justice. Another case of wrong place, wrong time, ending in gun violence. This time in Texas, where a man's been charged with shooting two teenage cheerleaders who got in his car by mistake. The shooting took place in a supermarket parking lot. Heather Roth, a high school cheerleader, got into the wrong car. When she realized it, she quickly got out and joined her teammates in a friend's car. The driver of the other vehicle, however, 25-year-old Pedro Rodriguez Jr., approached the cheerleader's car and opened fire, wounding two. One is in critical condition. That's CBS's Steve Futterman. A new first-of-its-kind study shows the rate of autism is rising in the U.S. The CDC says one in 36 eight-year-olds are now on the spectrum, but the surge isn't in profound, more severe cases. It's in milder ones. Well, grab your hats and mint juleps because CBS's Allison Keys is looking way ahead to a milestone Kentucky Derby. <laughs> just unveiled its official logo for the 150th running of the race and the crowd will get to see a 200 million dollar renovation of the paddock behind the main grandstand plus premium club spaces dining tables and new viewing areas the 149th derby is set for may 6th this is cbs news well that's today's news today's news i didn't hear any good news did you i didn't think so i guess it's all about perspective the glass is half full well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.